So we have some problems here about the distance between two points. So we have the first problem. Show that the points negative 2, 5, negative 2, negative 1, and 4 and negative 1 all lie in a circle whose center is at 1, 2. Find the length of the radius. So ito na yung Cartesian plane natin. At na point na natin yung mga points at ang ating center. So, we have three points at isang center. So, yung hinahanap dito is yung length ng radius. So, first, let's illustrate the problem. So, yung center natin, gagawa muna tayo dito ng circle. Ayan. So, yung hinahanap sa problem ay yung radius. So, mula sa center papunta sa um, line or sa gilid ng um, circle. So, kahit anong point lang dito yung gagamitin natin. So, yung gusto kong gamitin is yung point 1 natin, which is negative 2 at 5. Then, yung center natin, which is 1 at 2. So, hahanapin natin yung distance ng dalawang points na ito. So, yung gagamitin natin yung formula is d is equal to the square root of x sub 2 minus x sub 1 <coughs> plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 squared. So, ito yung x sub 1 natin at y sub 1. Ito yung x sub 2 natin at y sub 2. Then, let's substitute the numbers. x sub 2. x sub 2 is 1. So, 1 minus x sub 1, which is 2. So, magiging positive 2. Squared plus y sub 2, which is 2, minus y sub 1, na 5. Then, squared. We have 1 plus 2, 3. Then squared plus 2 minus 5 is equal to negative 3 squared. 3 squared is equal to 9 plus negative 3 squared is equal to positive 9. So we have 9 plus 9 is equal to 18. So meron tayong square root of 18. The next step is let's factor out the 18 inside of the radical sign. So, yung factor ng 18 natin, kapag magpa-factor tayo ng, ng numbers na nasa loob ng radical sign, make sure na yung isang number or isang factor ay perfect square. So, meron tayong 9 times 2. At yung 9 natin is perfect square. So, the square root of 9 is equal to 3, then square root of 2. Ikakapi lang natin yung um, square root of 2. So, the distance between point 1 and of the center is 3 square root of 2 units. So, yung distance natin dito mula sa point 1 at center, ito na din yung ating length ng radius. Another problem, show that the points 4, 5, 1, 1, and negative 2, 5 are the vertices of an isosceles triangle. Find the area. So, hinahanap naman natin dito is yung area. So, ito na yung points natin sa Cartesian plane. We have point 1, point 2, at point 3. At kung i-coconnect natin yung mga dots or yung mga points natin, ay magpa-form ito ng isang isosceles triangle. So, hahanapin natin yung distance ng point 1 at point 2 point 2 at point 3 at point 3 at point 1. So, meron tayong point 1, 4, 5, point 2, 1, 1, at point 3, negative 2 at 5. So, una yung distance ni point 1 at point 2. So, the same formula, we have x sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 squared. Sa so point 2, x sub 2, we have 1, minus x sub 1, 4, squared, plus y sub 2, 1, 
minus y sub 1, 5 squared. 1 minus 4 is equal to negative 3 then squared plus 1 minus 5 is equal to negative 4 then squared. Negative 3 squared is equal to positive 9 plus negative 4 squared is equal to positive 16. 9 plus 16, we have 25 and the square root of 25 is 5. So, ito yung distance ng point 0.1 at point 0.2 natin. So, meron tayong 5 units. Next, yung point 0.2 at point 0.3 natin. Point 0.2 at point 0.3. The same formula, x sub 3 minus x sub 2 squared plus y sub 3 minus y sub 2 squared. Yung x sub 3 natin is negative 2 minus x sub 2 which is 1 squared. Plus y sub 3 we have 5 minus y sub 2 we have 1 squared. Negative 2 minus 1 we have negative 3 then squared. Plus 5 minus 1 we have 4 then squared. Negative 3 squared, we have positive 9, plus 4 squared is 16. If we add the numbers inside of the radical sign, we have 9 plus 9, uh, 9 plus 16 rather, we have 25. And the square root of 25 is 5. So, 5 units ulit. Yung distance ng point 2 at point 3 natin. So, 5 minutes. Next, yung point um, 3 at point 1 natin. So, point 1 and point 3. The same formula. x sub 3 minus x sub 1 squared plus y sub 3 minus y sub 1 squared. So, yung point... Um, x sub 3 natin is negative 2 minus x sub 1, which is 4 squared. Plus y sub 3, we have 5. Minus y sub 1, we have 5 squared. Negative 2 minus 4, we have negative 6 squared. Plus Plus 5 minus 5, we have 0 squared. Negative 6 squared is, equals to, is equal to positive 36. Hindi na natin isusulot yung 0 kasi 0 na siya. So, the square root of 36 is 6. So, yung distance ng ating point 0.1 at point 0.3 ay 6 units. Point 0.1 at point 0.3. So, we have 6 units. Next, paano natin yung makukuha yung area? Yung formula ng area natin sa triangle ay base times height over 2 or 1 half base times height. Meron tayong base pero yung height is wala. So, hahanapin natin yung height natin using the Pythagorean theorem which is c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. So, yung, yung leg natin dito ay magiging 3 na lang. 3 units. At sa kabila ay 3 units din. So, we have C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. Yung C natin is 5. Ito yung hypotenuse natin. 5 squared is equal to A squared which is 3, yung isang leg, at yung isang leg naman natin ay wala. So, hahanapin natin. 5 squared is 25, is equal to 3 squared is 9, plus b squared. Let's transpose. b squared is equal to 25 minus 9. So, b squared is equal to 16. And the square root of 16 is equal to 4 units. So, ito yung 
height natin. 4 units. Then, let's go to the area. So, yung area natin is 1 half base times height. 1 half, yung base natin dito is ito. 6 units at yung height natin is 4 units. So, yung base is 6 times 4. 1 half, 6 times 4 is 24. Numerator times 24 is 24 over 2. At meron tayong um, 12 square units. Next problem. Show that the points negative 1, negative 2, 2, 1, and negative 3 and 6 are the vertices of a right triangle. Then find the area. So, ito na yung points natin. Point 1, point 2, at point 3. So, i-coconnect muna natin yung mga points natin. At nakapag-form tayo ng um, isang triangle. So, in this problem, but in this problem, yung gagamitin nating formula ay shortcut. So, first, let's list the points. Point 1, we have negative 1, negative 2. Point 2, we have 2, 1. And point 3, we have negative 3 and 6. So, para mahanap yung area, we have 1 half, then the absolute value of x sub 1, y sub 2, plus x sub 2, y sub 3, plus x sub 3, y sub 1, minus x sub 1, y sub 3, minus x sub 2, y sub 1, and minus x sub 3, y sub 2 absolute value. Then, let's substitute. We have 1 half, the absolute value of x sub 1. We have negative 1. And y sub 2, we have 1. Plus x sub 2, we have 2. And y sub 3, we have 6. Plus x sub 3, we have negative 3. And y sub 1, we have negative 2. Minus x sub 1, we have negative 1. And y sub 3, we have 6. x sub 2, we have 2. y sub 1, we have negative 2. Minus x sub 3, we have negative 3. And y sub 2, we have positive 1. Then, let's simplify. Negative 1 times positive 1, we have negative 1. Plus 2 times 6, we have 12. Plus negative 3 times negative 2, we have positive 6 because Negative times na negative is positive. Then, negative 1 times 6 is negative 6 times negative is positive 6. So, plus 6. Then, then, positive 2 times negative 2 is negative 4 plus the sign which is negative. Um, I mean, times the sign which is the negative it will become positive 4. Then, negative 3 times positive 1, we have negative 3. Times the negative sign, we have positive 3. Negative 1 plus 12 plus 6 plus 6 plus, 6 plus 4 and plus 3, we will have positive 30. 
Then the one half of thirty is fifteen square units. So this will be our final answer. So we have another problem here. Find the area of the quadrilateral having the points negative three, four, negative two, negative one, four, four, and zero and five as vertices. So ito na yung ating um, Cartesian plane at naplat na natin yung points natin. So kapag kinonek natin yung ating mga points, iko kinonek na natin lahat ng points. So, nakapag-form tayo ng isang quadrilateral. Pero sa problem na ito, ibang um, solution o ibang way yung ating gagawin. So, yung shortcut nito, ililist muna natin yung mga points. So, yung point 1 natin, point 2, point 3, at point 4. So, yung point 1 natin is negative 3, and positive 4. Yung point 2 natin is negative 2. And negative 1. Yung point 3 natin is 4. And 4. And yung point 4 natin is 0. And 5. Pero, dadagdag pa tayo ng point 1 ulit dito. We have negative 3 and positive 4. Yung next step natin ay yung... Um, upper left at saka yung cross niya yung i-multiply. So meron tayong negative 3 times negative 1, we have positive 3. So ito yung upper left natin. Negative 3 times negative 1 is positive 3. Next, negative 2 times positive 4 is negative 8. Positive 4 times positive 5, we have positive 20. Then 0 times positive 4 I 0. Next, yung lower left naman natin at yung cross niya. So, we have positive 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. Positive 4 and negative 1, we have negative 4. 0 times positive 4, we have 4. And negative 3 times positive 5, we have negative 15. Then, let's simplify. 3 minus 8 plus 20 plus 0, we have 15. Yung lower left naman natin, negative 8, negative 4 plus 4 minus 15, we have negative 27. Next, kukuni natin yung difference ng upper left at saka ni lower left. So, we have 15 minus negative 27 is equal to 15 plus 27. We will have 15 plus 27, we have 42. Para maku makuha yung area natin, yung 42, i-divide natin into 2. So, 42 divided by 2, we have 21 units squared or square units. So, ito na yung final answer natin. Next problem, find the radius of a circle with center at 4, 1 if a chord of length 4 squared of 2 is bisected at 7, 4. So, first, i-illustrate muna natin yung problem. So, meron na tayo ditong point, yung center at yung point natin kung saan magbabaisek yung chord. So, una is guguhitan muna natin ng circle. So, ayan. Ang sabi sa problem, Sa point na ito, sa 7-4, magbabaisek yung chord natin.
Ito na yung chord natin. Ang sabi sa problem, 4, uh, 4 square root of 2 units yung length niya. Next. So, next, maguguhit tayo ng ating radius mula sa center. At i-coconnect natin sa ating chord. So, ito na yung radius natin. So, yung sa, hinahanap sa problem dito is yung radius ng ating circle. So, una, hahanap atin mo nang aalamin o hahanapin yung length ng isang leg dito. Guguhit ako dito mula sa center papunta dito para malaman ko yung distance ng dalawa, ng point natin at ng center natin. So, yung center natin is 4, 1 at yung point natin is 7 and 4. The same formula yung gagamitin natin. Distance is equal to the square root of x sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 squared. Then, substitute natin yung numbers. Let's substitute the numbers. x sub 2, we have 7 minus x sub, x sub 1, 4, then squared plus y sub 2. We have 4 minus y sub 1, which is 1, then squared. 7 minus 4, we have 3, then squared, plus 4 minus 1 is 3, then squared. 3 squared is 9, plus 3 squared is 9. Add the numbers inside of the radical sign, we have 18, square root of 18. Next, let's factor out the square root of 18, but make sure na yung pagpa-factor mo, yung isang factor is, um, perfect square. So, we have 9 times 2. The square root of 9 is 3 square root of 2. So, yung length ng so, yung length ng isang lag natin is 3 square root of 2 units. Para makuha yung radius natin dito or yung isang lag ng ating triangle, gagamitan natin ng gagamitan natin ng Pythagorean theorem. So, we have c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. So, c squared, yung hypotenuse natin. So, ito yung radius natin. Then, yung a squared, isang leg, which is 3 squared of 2 squared plus b squared. Magiging... At yung b natin is... 2 square root of 2, then square root. Bakit tag 2 and square root of 2? Dinivide natin ito sa 2 kasi kalahati lang ng chord yung ginamit natin. So, we have c squared is equal to 3 square root of 2 squared. Magkakaroon tayo ng 9 times 2. Plus 2 square root of 2 squared, we have 4 times 2. Then, 9 times 2, we have 18. Plus 4 times 2, we have 8. 18 plus 8, we have 26. C squared um, is equal to the square root of 26. So, since hindi na natin ma-factor out yung 26 na yung isang factor is um, perfect square, yung C natin is equal to square root of 26 units. Or yung radius natin. So, this will be our final answer.